you know, there's a really famous blogger and uh, TV station owner, well, online station owner, mm -hmm. who decided to give her father, uh, well, a, allegedly a 55 million naira vehicle. Okay. Uh, and uh, for some reason, some people on social media went after her saying, oh, a 55 million naira car. Is it, it car? is it car he said he wanted? Why didn't you take husband home to your father? You're taking car to him. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, exactly. Whose money is it? Ex ex good good, good nah. question. So <laughs> Whose um, father is it? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> so I was just, uh, the way people jump on things just makes me a little, you know, it makes me concerned for the mindset of the average person. So this is a very successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. No matter how, you know, it started in the beginning, but right now she is very what, successful. What really irks me is not that she, she is, is under fire now yeah. for giving you know, that's Her not what family. really irks me. What irks me is the fact that the person who made this statement is actually supposed to be very educated, even okay. a, a journalist and everything. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, why would you, even mm. after all of that mm. awareness, mm. put out something like that? Mm. That's well, just really, my well, what is What is this big deal about marriage? <laughs> no, see, I'm actually, I'm actually getting sick of it. Mm. Because we've seen, the, the, uh, there's this couple I was reading about yesterday. I, I don't know why the name has escaped me now. Mm. She's 74, he's 84. Yeah. They've been together for 40 years. Yeah. And even over, in fact, over 40 years. Yeah. And they lived together for many years in the 1970s when marriage before living together was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But they are very happy today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for some, it works for some. And it's the Perfect. same thing with marriage. Perfect. I don't know why we make, in fact, much ado over nothing. Someone is doing well with her life. Yeah. She probably already has a child of her own. Yeah. She she's, 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 she's already living her life the way she wants it. Mm -hmm. If it was a guy, it would be a case of, ah, now ah, for you, you just enjoy it. Nah. You know, you paint exactly. red. But because he's a woman, mm. why didn't you take a husband to him? Hey, Joe. Exactly. Husband yeah. finders. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's, it's, that's it's the appalling. bit that's going to make social media, I uh, bet you. Well, <laughs> no, serious. It's it appalling. Is actually, it is actually, um, it's sad. When, when it comes to a father has been your guide, been your... You know, and maybe even request, he might have requested the exactly. gift. Exactly. He might have actually said, said oh, that's what I want. You know, you know, and she said it to give it to him. It. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the, the, the brazen uh, level of misogyny is what gets to me. Like, yeah. so you, uh, why, is it, why is it an issue? Okay. Why is it even a topic? Do you yeah. understand? And, you know, it's for me, uh, look, we've got to the point where everybody says, journalist, you just open your mouth and you pick one cup. Yeah. Look, you, let me not even go to how, you know, that side. But I'm just trying to say, look, Patriarchy, misogyny, people expect that hey, the woman should be the one to just sit down. She shouldn't be heard about. She, I mean, mm -hmm. buying a G-Wagon or something is quite a big deal. Yeah. And for me, man, that's, that's rubbish. Mm -hmm. saying nonsense. Mm -hmm. It's See, just saying nonsense. First of all, society is made up of you and I. Mm. The moment you realize that, the day you will have peace. Mm. Personally, me, I'm talking of myself now. Mm. Life has taught me that you don't care about what people say. Fact. Your happiness must come first. Because when you put others before you, you will suffer for it. And really? when you are suffering for it, people outside will not know what you're going through because yeah. they can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. You are living according to societal standards. Exactly. Exactly. You see, you see, the moment people realize that, the better for them. You mentioned something but there about, about, about marriage, you know, because that was something that the person raised also. <laughs> I remember that as an Julian Brad Pitt were together for 10 years. Yes. Everything was very Two okay. Years of marriage, they just married under one year plus. Everything just... You need to see how, even up till now, how dirty that divorce is. Yeah, going. my well, daughter testified something. against this. This is father. what I'm going to say regarding this entire situation. I think it's the, like you noted, the mm. culture or the, uh, what do you call it? Mm. Relevance that we put, not relevant, I, I can't find the right word, but we put so much, it's, it's so heavy, this responsibility on marriage or yeah. marriage. It's even global. All of that. Mm. It's not a global thing, it's Nigeria global. itself. It, well, really it might be, global. I'm talking about the Nigerian yeah. instance. We know however, to get like, the Nigerian <laughs> instance. No, it's global. <laughs> no, no, we are not on Zimbabwe, we are people. And we know, but it's global, this pressure. <laughs> Look, for, my, hey. for me and my family, oh. man, I would do and buy anything for my family I would with too. my money. I have so please, kudos and congratulations. It's all social media. The individual himself talk. is looking for attention, and I we mean, are giving that person that to... attention. That's what I feel. But hey, it's okay. We've got to talk about it. Mm. Anyhow, do stay tuned. Let's do a little break here. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. It's fun times all the way up until just before 9 o'clock. We've got something to do in the kitchen. We'll let you in on it in 